nah, that don't even sound like some stuff I would pay for. Do you know how much stuff I can get with that? Work somewhere that's going to be beneficial for you. Something that you like to purchase. So me, right now, I want to move into an apartment, so I'm purchasing a whole lot of home improvement, home decor things. But for you, you may just like to shop for shoes because you want to walk. <laughs> Shout out my mucus. Hey, can hey. you know that be my slime? Shout out my mucus. That that be my slime. That that be my slime. Slime, 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 slime. Hey, what? Hey, hey, okay. Naruto, Ninetales, Naruto. I feel like a Gucci ad lib. Burn, cold as the Coca-Cola. Burn, cold as the Coca-Cola. It can make our feel. Hey, gems. And welcome back to May Chronicles. In this video, I'm about to tell y'all how I saved about... Let me check my phone because I don't remember. I saved a lot though because I would not have purchased it if it wasn't on sale. So these are my notes that I will be using for this video because I literally have bad memory and I'm going to need my notes. So I paid... Oh, I saved about $500 and I purchased $6, $12... What's 12 plus 4? 16. So I purchased 16 things and I only spent about $60. So on average, let me tell y'all how much that is. $3.75 for each item. If y'all, when y'all see these items, y'all could be like, really? You did that. But let me tell y'all the secret to it. You should work somewhere where you can benefit not only benefit based on making money because you can make money at any job that you do when I say benefit I mean that you're going to benefit in your household or food wise or anything like that because most jobs give you a discount on your items since you work there even if it's 10 percent temp like I used to work at a retail store and I thought 25 percent no it was 20 percent I thought 20 20 percent wasn't anything and I'm just like they only giving us 20 percent but they give the customers 25 percent if the shoe is in in the box or if the shoe is a display but we work here and we can't even get 25 percent so I'm just like mm, that's not fair but at the same time I still got 20 percent and most customers did not get that 25 percent unless it was a valid reason to why they needed the 25 percent so I just say main the main rule to anything is to work somewhere where you can benefit not only benefit from making getting your paychecks weekly or bi-weekly but benefit to the point where you can use your discounts or you can be the first to know about specials and discounts and all of that thing that stuff so i'm only gonna bring one of each item over here mainly because well i'm gonna bring two of the shells so i can show y'all how it looked initially and i can show y'all when it took it out but mainly because it's heavy like this stuff is heavy and I don't want to have to keep picking it up to show y'all each one of them but y'all can see right here it's four of those y'all probably can't see it that good but it's one hiding behind the bed it's not hiding but like the bed is covering it you know so it's four right there and let me just bring them over here hold on okay so your girl is back after all that hard work not really but a little bit oh okay so I got this and it is a portable clothes rack I'm gonna read it to y'all over here though cuz ain't got no space so it's a portable clothes rack from stout it's called style selection and it says chrome black steel and plastic construction this one actually looks it actually looks a lot more decent than my other the one that I bought from Walmart and the one that I bought from Walmart was like $34.99 I was really upset that I had to buy it but I had no more space in my closet and now I still don't have space that's what made me buy four but I'm actually going to give one away I really need that one but that's gonna be a part of my giveaway because I feel like I do a lot of hauls and people watch my hauls because they have a lot of clothes like me so why not give one away to y'all but I paid $5 for these. The original price was, going back to my notes, the original price was $52.99 at Lowe's and $63 at other stores like eBay and Amazon and other, I forgot exactly what website I was looking at. I think Home Depot. But this one is from Lowe's. And like I said, I got it for $5. The reason I got it for $5 is because 
I work somewhere that I can benefit off of, not just financially from checks bi-weekly, but benefit for knowing the sales, being the first one to know the sales and things like that. And the reason, I think the um, price of it was $13 and they actually thought in the system that we didn't have anymore. So I had to go search for this because it was, it was my job to search for all the items that the system was saying we had, but then they said we didn't have. have. So all the stuff that I found, I was like, oh, I want that, I want that. And then they was like, well, okay, $5. And I'm like, cool beans, like, let me get it, <laughs> $5. But it was $5 each, so I paid $20 total for these, and that's not a problem. Like, $20 when the original price was $50.99. Well, $52.99, that's really good. So I'm going to be giving one of these away to a lucky winner of my 10K giveaway. I think I'm going to have 10 winners. But if I do that, then I don't know. I don't know because I don't want to pay for shipping to everybody. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet so y'all don't check me on it. But this is how it looks. I should have did my intro in my room so y'all can see the gems and May Chronicles in the background, but it's whatever. Anyways, I may film it and just like add it to this video. So yeah, this is this. I'm very happy with this and y'all, the higher power loves me. I'm going to just let y'all know that because I almost died last night. Well, I didn't almost die. I almost died today, but I could have died last night. If I was asleep and this thing would have fell on me, it wasn't this one. The one I bought from Walmart, I think it's poorly constructed because... Literally, I'm over here finna film this video. I'm taking all the stuff out of that room, my room, and bringing it in this room so that I can film. Next thing you know, the whole freaking rat falls on my bed. It's right where I laid my head. And that's my fault for putting it exactly where, like, putting it right next to my bed. But I don't really have enough room in my room to put it anywhere else. So, literally, it, um, it, it fell right on my pillows. And I just left it there, honestly, because at the end of the day... I'm not like it's 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 bent. So now I got three more, but I'm giving one of y'all one of these. So therefore, we gotta have to make this work. But the one that I bought from Walmart is a two tier. So it had the top and the bottom level, and I put my pants on the top and the other thing on the bottom. Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have put my pants on the bottom because it was heavier. Duh, my fault. That's that's me being me. But yeah, I really like this one because it's chrome and black steel. And that just seems like a better quality to me. Because the, the one that I got, oh, it says in plastic construction. Well, the wheels look better, in my opinion. Hopefully, really, I bought all this stuff because when I move into my apartment, I want to have all this stuff. So, hopefully I have hardwood floors so it can just roll easily. Because this carpet, it ain't it. And... It says that it stands up to 74.75 inches, and the smallest to get is 54 inches. If I'm not mistaken, 54 inches is like 5 feet. No, it's 4 feet. Let me see. 4 and a half feet. So it is automatically 4 and a half feet, and then it stands up to, let's see, 6 feet, 6.2 feet. So that's really good to me, like... That's a lot, and I need it because I literally don't have no space in my closet. So hopefully when I move as well, my closet is walk-in and huge. My closet is walk-in right now, but it's it's not huge. And the height goes up to 5.3 feet, and it's also extendable. The smallest it is is uh, 3.5 feet. Um, my clothes are probably going to be like the highest because I'm 5'4". No, I'm not 5'4". I'm 5'5". Five five. Let me not lie. I'm 5'5". Five five, so, therefore, we're going to extend it to 64 inches. But I really like this, y'all. Like, I'm so freaking excited. When I've seen this, I was so happy because it said $13. And honestly, I was willing to pay $13 for this because everywhere else was like $50 and $40. And I was just like, nah, not for me. Okay. So, the next item I got... I'm going to show y'all this one because the other one is heavy. So, I got these. And y'all probably like, why did she get these? And honestly, I was like, why did I want this? But I ended up getting it. Okay. So, basically, I got these. I was trying to convince myself why I got these myself, to be honest. But I paid 50 cents each for these, which totaled up to... How many did I got? I got six. So, it totaled up to $3.00 which is not bad to me. The original price of this was $6.98 for a three count. And 
I got these mainly because I customize shoes and with this it's easier well it says it's an instant stain remover so like you can get coffee out food I eat like a little kid like a little baby so therefore I can use it for that too but mainly I got it for shoes because when I restore shoes like white shoes or any other shoes I can just clean it off easily and that um if y'all watch if y'all watch my vlog the other day I spilled well paint got all over my clothes and I put this on it and it actually did come out so that was a good thing these actually work I had to convince myself to buy them I'm like they're only 50 cent why not buy them so I ended up getting these y'all don't know I really don't know why but I kind of know why I'm gonna make them useful that's one thing I'm gonna do but I think the most exciting thing that I got that I'm so freaking see y'all I really didn't even care about that I just put it to the side that quick when you talk about it that much like one minute gone but my main thing that I'm so freaking happy about is this what you see my name on like so freaking excited y'all when I get this apartment I'm so freaking ready to put this in an empty apartment tour a, a furnished apartment tour y'all it's gonna be so freaking lit like it's coming soon real soon so this is how it looks and this is honestly my favorite br focus 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 on me focus camera focus right now okay my camera don't listen to me see, you see it focused right after I said that right so anyways this is my favorite brand that we sell at my job and I try to get everybody to buy this mainly because Allen and Roth is like the best quality at my job literally like I can vouch for them and I didn't even know about them until I started working here but they have a lot of nice home decor things so yeah this is what I bought floating shells and five shoes well five of my shoes can fit on there and I wear a size five and a half and this I look orange why do I look orange is it this thing right here that's making me look orange so we're just gonna finish this video and I'm gonna go film the rest of the videos in the light because obviously I look orange and this is not the move I look like I got a bad tan or something so I got these floating shells and this is how it looks okay y'all can see it um they used it for like plants and um vases and candles your girl she liked the shop she's using it for shoes and like i said i already put my shoes on here and five shoes can fit up here five pair of shoes not five individual shoes because you know like on amazon it'll say up to 30 shoes or let me not talk about amazon because i work there too i love amazon let me not do that to them it's a good thing to have more than one job y'all i'm just let y'all know that but you know how like other other vendors and things like that they'll say oh if it's up to 30 shoes they're talking about 15 pairs 30 shoes this fits five pairs let me say that five pairs so i really like this and it's 42 inches and it's a floating wall shelf the only thing i don't like is yellow and not well it's not yellow but it's like the kind of the color of my hair like not white it's like a beige type eggshell color and that's not what i was going for but these are the only ones that was on sale the original price of these were $50.98 and I was not gonna pay that what I look like paying $50 bro just saying that is so freaking funny to me like I'm not gonna pay $51 what $51 for a shelf one shelf no so what I'm gonna do is I already have one that's open which is this one I'm going to try to airbrush it and see if because I know how to airbrush really really good to make it look like it's the actual color and I'm going to airbrush them like maybe a light gray or a blue or mix them like the blue and the gray together to make a color whatever color it makes because I'm fine with that so I'm going to do that and see what color it comes out because I don't like this color like this is not it oh yeah I said I was going to take it out to show y'all how it looks break my nail okay I'm okay <laughs> oh lord y'all I'm scared ew it's dusty the hardware is included so that's good this is how you put it in there look like something might be hiding in there what's going on okay so yeah those are the holes that you put it in that big hole right there and that big hole right there and this is how it looks it's huge y'all literally five pair of shoes i'm so freaking excited to get i was like what the world is this i guess it lets out so that you can actually put the ouch 
I'm over here hurting myself. This thing is too heavy. I won't be the one putting this up. That's for sure. So let me get it out again so I can show y'all. So you use this to put it in there, I guess. You drill, you drill a hole in it. I don't know how that works. I'm not even going to be the one. I won't be the one to put it up, so I don't really too much know. But yeah, so I made some little notes to talk to y'all about. I paid $5 each for these, which totaled up to be $30. And then I paid $5 for the chrome steel wraps. So that totaled up to be $20. So that's $50 right there. And then I paid $0.50 cent each for the Tide to go pens. And I got six of those, so that was $3. So that's $53 plus tax. When they give you a discount on non-stop items, they don't give you a discount. Like, they don't allow you to use your store discount. You can only use a discount for the actual item. You know, how my ear is ringing. Okay. So I didn't keep my receipt because I knew I wasn't going to give it back because I really wanted this stuff. So therefore, I wasn't going to give it back. So, I don't know exactly how much it was, but I know it wasn't more than $60 after tax. Um, if I were to purchase this when they first hit the shelves, which I never do, I shop on sale, y'all. Shop on sale, that's the best thing you can do. I would have spent $305.88 for the floating shelves, the 42-inch Allen & Roth white. They're called white, but they're not really white, but whatever. The white floating shells, $211.96 for the Style Selection Chrome Steel Clothing Racks, which is right here. And $41.88 for the three count tie to go pins. Y'all, that don't even sound like some stuff I would pay for. Do you know how much stuff I can get with that? Like, y'all got to learn how to shop on sale. Just because y'all favorite Instagrammer or y'all favorite YouTuber is buying all this stuff, you don't have to buy it. Like, you can just look at them and admire it. Because, honestly, that's what I used to do. Until I started working more and buying the stuff that I wanted to buy. Because I love to shop. That's honestly me. But, don't live above your means. Don't do any of that. Because, literally, it'll only put you in a rut. The total that I paid for this was $559.72. Which means I saved about $500 go me my tip on saving money is look for sales ask stores do they have a sale area because sometimes they can have stuff in on sale in the back that they don't show you because they're probably gonna wait till next season to put it back out honestly like places like forever 21 i have a friend that work at forever 21 they literally have a sale all the freaking time honestly with forever 21 shop online their sales online are way better like you're going to always have a sale when you shop on clothing websites when it's online now if you go in the store they're going to have all the highest product and the reason being is because when stuff goes on sale usually they put it in the back inventory as in it's because they're not trying to sell it because they're going to sell it for like a nickel not a nickel per se, but they're going to sell it for way cheaper than what they would have sold it if it was that season. That's why when y'all see my haul, sometimes I have like long sleeves and like thick denim jeans and all of that stuff. And you're probably like, it's not even season for that. But guess what? I don't wear my stuff when I get it right when I get it anyways. Like I wait like a year anyways. And it's not even purposely. Like I bought something last spring from Fashion Nova and I didn't wear it until like some days ago and that's just how I am because I don't wear stuff right when I get it because I, I buy it because I want it at the time that doesn't mean I want to wear it at the time you know so don't just feel like you have to buy stuff right when it comes out because I don't do that either like if y'all watch my last um, video my pickups the shoes that I bought the Jordans they was on sale for like 120 and the original price was 140 Jordans don't really sell out like that no more. When I used to work in the retail, they used to sell out. I used to sell tickets for like $50 each. They used to sell out for real. So, Jordans don't really sell out like that. And that's a good thing because people was losing their lives over it. So, I'm really glad that he's making more. But honestly, he's making more money doing it anyways. But that's besides the point, y'all. Don't live above your means. Don't try to keep buying things and purchasing things because you see other people doing it. Because at the end of the day... You need to make sure you're financially stable for all the other things that you want and need, you know? But 
Um, basically, you'll look like a smart shopper when you buy things during the opposite seasons. Purchase things when they're not being advertised, you'll save more money. Because when they're advertising like, oh, this is the cutest crop top, this is a new crop top, y'all should get these crop tops. And all the stuff that's on these mannequins, that's the stuff that they want you to get. Because that's going to be the most expensive things in the store at the moment. And of course, the stuff is new. I don't say, like, everything that I buy is not always on sale. Most of the stuff is on sale, but... It depends. If I really like it, I'll buy it when it first comes out. But for the most part, I buy things that a lot of people don't wear anyways or they think, like, that's not even cute. Like, I don't care if we had the same shoes. Now, if we had the same clothes on, it's going to be a problem. Like, I'm going to want to fight. <laughs> that's just me being honest. Like, but that's why I try to switch my style up. I don't want to keep the same things because you don't want to see people wearing the same thing you, want, you wear, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just that way. But... It's okay to purchase things on sale. This way you can purchase a larger amount of things rather than spending your budget on one or two items. Let me read this like this because I'm over here trying to read and tell y'all at the same time and looking at the camera like, like it's a project or a presentation or something. So the items that are considered non-stop meaning that they aren't selling as the company had hopes for. So they will no longer restock the item. Although you may not be able to get the same items that I got and for the price that I got. I'm just trying to give y'all tips and tricks on how to get things for a better price than what you're probably getting it for at the moment. It's easy to go into a store and negotiate a price. Not at like Foot Locker or anything like that. But like at a home improvement store, you can really negotiate your prices. Because you know how you negotiate like storage wars? If you watch storage wars, you can negotiate the prices. You can really negotiate prices when it's so cheap. In my opinion, maybe I just know how to negotiate. I don't know. I get it from my mama. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, let me tell y'all a warning. This may not always work in your favor. It's easier when you work at the place of business you like to shop at because you can monitor the items and when they... Car coming. Why can I hear that in the house? But anyways. Okay, because you can monitor the items and when the prices of them plummet on the items that you want, they plummet, you can purchase them. So, yeah, like I would say my best advice for anybody that likes to shop a lot, work somewhere that's going to be beneficial for you, something that you like to purchase. So me right now, I want to move into an apartment, so I'm purchasing a whole lot of home improvement, home decor things. But for you, you may just like to shop for shoes because you want to walk. <laughs> Why did I just say that? I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> but listen, y'all. You may, like, really, you may want to purchase shoes because you like to walk instead of drive your car. You may like to show off your new shoes. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what made me say that, y'all. Just don't, don't mind me. But, like, honestly, if you want a new car, try to get a job as a, um, a dealer, a, a car dealer. Because... You could probably get a discount on a car. You could probably get a car. Yeah, you can get a car for cheaper. Or, like, your boss may be nice and... Did I just delete that note? Um, oh, okay. See, that's why I like Apple. They don't even delete it for real. Wait, how do I get it back? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I'm just over here talking. But, basically, just work somewhere that's beneficial towards you. Not just the money. Because, regardless, you're going to make money at your job. That's the whole point of having a job. The purpose of having a job that you should take advantage of is being able to get stuff for cheaper and like not even just get it for a better price. Use your discounts because you working at Dairy Queen. Who want to drink slushies and eat that fake food all day? I don't even eat there, but even if I worked there, I probably wouldn't even eat there. So don't work somewhere that's not going to be beneficial for you because at the end of the day, you're not benefiting. Anyways, you guys... I didn't want to make this video long, but obviously your girl talks too much and she makes videos long. And some people have problems with it, some people don't. But guess what I got to say to those that have a problem with it? Look, I should be playing a Yo Gotti song in the background. But yeah, anyways, y'all, this video is over. I love you guys so much. Well, I love my gym so much. And all you got to do to become a gym is to hit the subscribe button below. Get us a big thumbs up. Let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see. And when I get to 10K, if I'm in California when I get to 10K, I'm honestly not going to do the 10K giveaway till I get back because I'm going to be living my life. Living my best life. Like, I'm not going to be thinking about doing that. But I'm going to still make a video like 
telling y'all that I'm happy because I'm going to be vlogging there. But I won't be able to give y'all a detailed giveaway because I haven't even filmed it yet. I don't even know all the stuff I'm giving away. I know like three things, but I don't know anything else. So therefore, yeah. Anyways, love you guys so much. Make sure you guys get us a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And you can leave comments if you like to. But see you guys later. Shout out my mucus. Can you know that be my slime? Shout out my mucus. That that be my slime. That that be my slime. Slime, 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 slime. Hey. What? What? Hey. Hey. Okay. Naruto, nine tail, Naruto, nine tail. I feel like a Gucci ad lib.